everyone, and um, welcome to our class today. As you know, we're going to be discussing the RESIST criteria, response evaluation criteria in solid tumors, the fact that there are two versions of this criteria now in use around the world, and kind of the implications for that. What does that mean for any one of us that may be involved or is involved in helping to manage or monitor or work on oncology studies? All right, so to go ahead and get started, talking about RESIST criteria for a couple of reasons, and this is a pertinent topic, especially these days, because of the fact that we do have two versions of the criteria that are in use around the globe, and because these criteria and how they are understood and how they are adopted for any given protocol and clinical trial, any study that uses any kind of survival or disease progression from solid tumors as an endpoint, RESIST criteria is going to be what is going to support all of the data that's going to directly feed into confirming that all those endpoints for any of the studies. So this is really important information to understand and to be able to apply and to train in your own internal teams. 